You know, in bass fishing, there's all kinds of little rigging techniques, little tricks and things like that that make a big difference. And as all of you know, I love to throw spinnerbaits. You know, spinnerbaits one of the main tools that I've used over my career uh, to have a lot of success. I love it because it's so efficient at covering a lot of different depth zones and I can trigger bass in a lot of different situations, you know, in heavy cover, in open water. But a lot of the times when you're doing that, when you're getting reaction strikes on a spinnerbait, these bass are gonna just come up there and swat at it. So having a trailer hook to me is absolutely critical. Now a lot of the Strike King spinnerbaits that I use now, they come right from the manufacturer right out of the package with a trailer hook that's properly rigged and that's something that I think is really really important so what I want to do is make sure that that trailer hook goes on there first and then the plastic keeper next so that that hook is free to swing so no matter what my spinnerbait's doing if you know if I'm letting it flutter down a little bit that hook is going to be riding right there in the back of the skirt that whole cast if I run it over a limb and, and kill it for a second again as that bait goes down that hooks not off to the side it's not hanging down it's not up, it's not fixed or attached to it that way. It's nice and loose. And I just use a little Mustad 2 out short shank trailer hook. I just want to have a little stinger back there. So if one takes a swat at it, he's going to find that trailer hook. So this is a critical piece of equipment when I'm throwing a spinner bait. No matter how heavy the cover is, how thick the brush, how thick the grass, I'm always going to have that hook on there. By having that short shank hook on there, it doesn't hang up very much. One thing that I try to do is my spinner bait is coming up to a piece of cover. I don't want to just crawl it through there. So if this was a stump, if this tackle box was a stump, if you just slowly do it, that spinner bait a lot of times will turn over and you might catch the trailer hook. So I like to speed up my retrieve a little bit as I feel an object or I see that it's coming in contact with something that keeps that spinner bait running upright and clears both of those hooks off of that cover and also a lot of times by speeding it up real quick and crashing into that cover, I can trigger a bass to bite. It keeps the bait from hanging up and I'm going to get more bites. Always, always use a trailer hook on your spinner bait. See more of my tips on my YouTube channel, social media, and at KevinVanDam.com.